This is Boot Hill's performance and the comparison for six different investment points to see how he performs with Harmony MC, with and without Ron May, the F2P light cone versus his signature light cone, E1 versus his signature light cone, and more, as well as how to optimize his damage with a few tricks that anyone can do. Also, this was done in the creator experience server, so some things may be subjected to change. Furthermore, any content taken here may be copyright claimed by Hoyoverse, so be careful. So let's get into our first tier of investment. So here we will be pairing Boot Hill with our favorite F2P character, Harmony MC, and with the Herda Shop Light Cone, Cruising of the Stellar Sea. Boot Hill will also be sitting at 143 speed, while Branya is sitting at 142 speed. Note that Boot Hill wants as many turns as possible, so having Branya at minus one speed, which will allow Branya to bring Boot Hill up after he has taken his turn. This speed is a very modest speed that many or most people will be able to obtain. As for his build, we are also running Boot Hill with the 4-piece Thief set and 2-piece Talia set. His main damage will scale off Brick Effect, however, having crit or attack stats will still contribute to his damage, especially early on, to get those kills on trash mobs in order to get his stacks. As for Boots, Speed is his best stat. As for the rope, make sure to always run a Brick Rope. As for the Sphere, you can choose to run Attack% percent, Physical Damage% percent, or if you need Survival, you can run Defense or HP%. Percent. You can honestly run him with any main stat and he'll be fine as long as there are a ton of brick effect and speed in the substats. Boot Hill does have a trace that converts his brick damage to crit rate and crit damage with 300% brick effect being the cap. So for this tier of investment as you guys can see from the beginning since I am using Harmony MC and not Ron May our enhanced basic attack for Boot Hill will only have 60 toughness to start which is 30 short from breaking the dogs in one attack. This is just basically a Ron May check unfortunately. Once we get our first pocket trick shot stack it becomes a lot easier to get the second and the third. So after optimizing the fights for this level of investment, we were able to get 26 cycles, which isn't bad at all, considering that your part now has 1 million HP versus 500,000 from before. However, there is a necessary tech that can drastically increase our boot hills damage that anyone can do at the second tier of investment. This is increasing our boot hill speed to at least around 151 to 154 speed, depending on our superimpositions of the Dance 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 Light Cone. And so using that Dance 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 Light Cone will allow Boot Hill to hit that pseudo 160 speed, right? This will allow him and Branya to go 4 turns within the first 2 cycles, effectively giving Boot Hill 8 turns over 2 cycles. In my opinion, this is the biggest investment point that is even better than his signature Light Cone. As seen here, with this tech, we are able to get 28 cycles remaining with Harmony MC. This is a big jump from the previous investment. However, I will say that if you are going Harmony MC, then only do it if most of the enemies are weak to imaginary otherwise Ron May will universally be the better option for Boot Hill as seen here in the next few investment points. Next up at investment point number three, we have Ron May. I am running a slow May with two P's Von Wack and 120 speed. Our boot hill is still the same, rocking the cruising LC at 155 speed and Branya at 154 speed with Dance Dance Dance. So how does boot hill with Ron May compare with Harmony MC in this situation? Most enemies are weak to imaginary, so shouldn't Harmony MC have an advantage? Not quite. As you guys can see, Ron May's ability to provide that extra toughness efficiency allows us to start boot hills and hand attack at 90 toughness damage. This allows us to immediately break the dog and get one pocket trickshot stack, and so each stack gives us 50% increased efficiency, and in addition to Ron May's 50%, that's 200% increased toughness efficiency. Meaning that at max stacks, our enhanced basic attack will deal 6 bars or about 180 toughness damage, and that is a lot. For reference, Japard only has 300 toughness damage, so basically we are dealing with more than half of Japard's toughness in one attack. However, note that the efficiency from these stacks only applies to the enhanced attack and not our ultimate. So overall, the additional efficiency from Ron May as well as the ultimate from the Res Pen Shred contributes nicely to helping Boot Hill break the enemies faster. Pairing that with Branya, this is the most deadly traditional team comp and it easily yielded us 28 cycles even though there are no enemies that are weak to ice. So therefore, as you guys can see, anything that gives Boot Hill speed, action advance, or allies that can help break enemies faster are all Boot Hill's favorites, right? So what about his signature light cone? So at the fourth tier of investment, we have Ron May paired with Boot Hill and his signature light cone with the normal Dance Dance Dance, Branya, etc, right? The results were actually pretty surprising to me. So essentially, his light cone grants him an additional 60% break effect and ignores 20% defense. And on top of that, a 12% speed boost, which is quite 
quite insane as this will allow him to easily meet certain thresholds for the speed requirements. For example, 151 speed or something more ridiculous that I will show you later. So using the light cone, I can definitely feel a decent power up, but the results were still the same as Boot Hill with his signature light cone yielded us 28 cycles. However, even if these cycles are the same as you guys can see on the left hand side, we do get a whole extra turn with Boot Hill and Branya compared to the F2P light cone. In certain situations, this may yield an extra cycle, but for the most part, he's already insane without his signature LC. So if you have great speed investment and a Ron May and a Branya, I don't think you need his light cone. But for this next investment, it's a bit of a for fun one. Or if you have a ton of speed relics and a Pella, you can try to get a 3 turn in 1 cycle team comp with Boot Hill. This Zero Cycle team is probably the cheapest Zero Cycle team with a cost of around $500 at worst, or $0 if you are lucky. And it's easily possible since his signature light cone provides the speed boost that is necessary to help him reach that speed breakpoint. This in combination with Ron May's speed boost and running Branya with at least 100 and 71 speed on the four piece hacker space will allow for boot hill to reach a total of at least 185 speed and in combination with branya's dance 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 light cone this will yield us that pseudo 200 speed for boot hill as well as for branya therefore with branya we will be able to take six turns in one cycle fast pella and fast ron may with two piece fawn whack are also necessary as well in order to generate enough skill points so therefore as you guys can see using four star light cones on on everyone except for Boot Hill, I was able to comfortably get zero cycles on MLC 12 against a 1 million HP Chapard, which already tells me he's pretty damn OP. But what is better Zeto, his E1 or his signature light cone? Well, for his E1 investment, it is a nice quality of life as it gives us a stack of his pocket rockets right away, ultimately allowing us to deal 90 toughness damage immediately without needing Ron May, which most trash mobs will have in this endgame. In addition to that, it also ignores 16% of the enemy's defense, which is 4% less than the light cone. However, the performance was roughly the same and I would argue that the light cone has the edge as it has has an earlier soft pity of 65 pulls and you have a 75% chance of winning it compared to a 50% chance for his E1. So TLDR Ron May is his best pairing alongside Branya. Harmony MC is amazing if the enemies are weak to imaginary. Speed and break effect are his best stats and if you had to pick, go with his signature LC over E1. However, as you guys can see from the results, he alone as a character is enough. There's nothing that is a quote unquote must pull. So yeah, remember to pull for who you like, spend responsibly and don't fall for peer pressure. Okay, bye now, bye now. Take care, stay safe. See you later. Subscribe for a breakdown on Firefly later. Bye-bye.